The story we want to tell is about the origins of our, our product, the how it was made really lovingly, almost like a mom, <laughs> by Dr. Pemberton himself in 1986, using all the natural ingredients that were available at the time. Action! I'm playing a guy called John Stiff Pemberton, who was a, a doctor in, um, and was in the American Civil War and through a process of elimination and fortune, he discovered a drink, and that drink had a special formula for this drink, and it was um, later branded as Coca-Cola. The main message is, like I said, it's about origin and about the transparency of what's actually in a Coke. Right We're setting a context of how natural and inspiring everything was at that time and how Dr. Pemberton was inspired to create this wonderful product using the familiar ingredients that existed in the time in 1885. This is a long shoot, by the way, for, for a, a commercial. I mean, normally a commercial's two days, three days. And this has been 12 days in all with costume, fittings, beard, everything like that. So it's been more like a short film. What is really lovely about it is that it's a very affectionate, a very intimate story. He comes across all these different scenarios to finally get his coke into the laboratory and made and, and drunk and understood and um, patented, I guess. It drags you along and engages you as you learn how this wonderful product has become what it is. And then not knowing what the product that he invented would become. The greatest brand, the greatest product in the world. One morning in May 1886, John Pemberton came up with the idea of creating a refreshing drink. I love Dr. Pemberton himself. <laughs> invented, I invented a Coca-Cola. What else am I going to be doing? Drinking brandy and smoking lovely cigarettes. You know, he's excited to invent something so novel. And who knows if he was ever thinking that it would be like this in the year 2013. You know, that's very exciting. Just getting into this clobber and having a beard on and glasses and everything, obviously it changes you. I've had to jump in the water and jump out. I haven't done that, but the stunt guy has. <laughs> As a production, it just feels like we've all sort of slotted into it and just gone, OK, this is, this is the film we're doing. There's been parrots, yogis, a bear. We're in the lovely area known as Almeria in southern Spain. Almeria, Almeria, whichever way you want to say it, it's still the same place. It's basically about rumors and how rumors can get spread in very interesting and uh, humorous ways. Carbonara water, sugar, caramel, and cinnamon pudding. Carbonara waffle, sugar, amini caramel, and... My character is basically this cheeky little boy who is, he's carrying on about what Coca-Cola is made out of. What? What our product really contains versus what it doesn't contain. And he has heard what other people have said and he is passing it on to different people. And don't tell anyone else. Oh, no, no, no. Carbonated water, sugar, caramel, and I think he said crispy banana rings. The objective of the commercial is basically saying 
don't believe everything that you hear. I'm in a recording! Ah. On a personal level, this has been one of the best shoots I've done. Mainly because my age, tender age of 43. I mean, that's the question you get when you get home, isn't it? It's like, oh, where have you been? What are you doing? And then what you're really doing is you explain to them what you do. And when you get put on the spot, that you've got to um, produce something. For everybody, there's a pressure there. I just laugh because with every humor, there's an underlying message. And I like the balance of it. You laugh at it, but once you're done with it, you get the message. Um, I'm going to go back and I'd like to see what people say. I might keep it a secret and see what people say when they see me on TV. That'll be nice. If I tell you the secret formula, I'd have to kill you, so I won't. No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm serious. I would have to kill you. So, just... Ultimo plano. Ultimo plano. I don't think I'll be doing it either. You'd be just shuffled off. You'd be picked out of somewhere and just put into a room somewhere, I would imagine. I would imagine they'd starve you first. Maybe hung, drawn and quartered, I don't know. Maybe they did something of the time. This um, secret formula, 